So creating a LXC container to run your Nginx proxy manager from within even a Docker container. I have a magnifying glass on the right above top. Well, maybe just on top. That's maybe a better explanation. So if you can't see the thing that I'm showing clearly, just look at the magnifying glass. That's better. So let's start. I have created a LXC container here, but I'm going to do it again. So let's close this, click the LXC container. Hit more, we move 7743, purge and destroy. Now it's removed again, as you can see. First, make sure you have the correct template. Go to local CT templates, templates, search for Ubuntu, and you can do the newest version or the one older version or even the 2020 or four version. I don't recommend the 1804 version though. So when you have this version or maybe this version, Go ahead and select create CT. Then type in the ID you would like for your LXC container and type in a name. Type in a SSH password, or a root password, that's better explanation, and hit next. Then select your template. So if you want to do the newest version, you can do that. But I would choose the 2020.04 version because I don't have any issues with that. Increase the disk to 10 and select next. I just choose one call, but I will choose, however, two gigabytes of RAM. The swap is important to keep this low. I will explain later. Disable firewall, go to static IP and give it an IP address. Make sure this IP address is still available, but that, yeah, that speaks for sich. That speaks for itself. I will also specify the gateway IP on the DNS server. When everything is correct, hit start after created and hit finish. When it says task OK, you can go ahead and hit close. I will open up this in a new tab. Because I can see things better. Hit enter and hit type in root. Type in the password you gave it. And then do this one line comment. Opt get update dash y ampersand ampersand up get upgrade dash y, Epson Epson, up get install docker, dash y, Epson Epson, up get install docker compose. Uh, and I think, no, it's, it's still install, up get install docker compose. So what this does eventually it updates the repositories hits yes for you upgrades the system hits yes for you installs docker hits yes for you and as last option installs docker compose and hits yes for you hit enter so what it's doing i explained it earlier it's updating the system automatically hitting the y key then it's upgrading the system again automatically hitting the y key and after that it's fetching the latest docker package from the official um, source and when it's done with that it's installing the add-on the compose um yeah how do you say that service thingy from the docker 
it's not necessarily used for this purpose, but it's very handy and sometimes even needed to one the most containers. So even if it is, isn't is used here in the Nginx um, video, it's just best practice to install Docker Compose when you use Docker. To not use Docker Compose and, and um, only use Docker, it doesn't have any value over the benefit of already having it installed when you need it. You will find the one-liner comment in the description of the video. I will skip this. Still going. I will give you a quick recap. We have created a LXC container inside Proxmox. On that LXC container, we use the template Ubuntu 2020.04, the official one. Then we started the container, logged in with a root account and used four commands in total, which is at the moment running. That's basically what we've done in this video from the beginning to the point we're now at. And as you can see, it's done now. So first clear your screen and to check if everything is done correctly, you can hit the arrow key up two times and hit enter again. You will see that those four comments have already been done and you can check that because it here says zero, zero, zero. Well, you can see that, that as a zero. Same here, zero, 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 zero. That means it has already upgraded the system, it has already installed Docker, and it has already installed Docker Compose. To check if Docker is installed correctly, you can do that with Docker dash dash version. And to check if it can run containers, you can do that with Docker PS. This means there are no running containers now, but we have Docker. So now we'll need to deploy Nginx Proxy Manager. So we need Docker Compose. So I will say that I was um, giving you false information. We needed Docker Compose. So it wasn't best practice that I did that. It was even needed in this video. So we'll need to copy the example doc compose file from the official Nginx Proxy Manager website. So if you have everything selected, select copy, go back to your container, make sure it's still running, go to the root directory. You can check that via this. And then go to home or maybe if you want, you can also create a folder here. I will create a folder here called Docker. Then I will CD into Docker and I will make a folder called Nginx Proxy Manager. Then I will CD into that container. So to recap, we're here at the root of our system. We will see a Docker folder and we will CD into the Docker folder. From there, we have made a Nginx proxy manager folder and we will also CD into that folder. And if you can see, this is empty. That's, that's, our, that's uh, the way it should be. Then we'll need to make a file using touch and we'll call that Docker compose. Oh, this is not going great. Again, one moment. We will RM that thing. And we will make a file called Docker Compose YAML. Now we have a file called docker compose.yaml. We'll use nano. And as you can see, it's empty. 
paste the Docker compose file and hit Control X Y Enter. To check if it is done correctly, you can use cat. As you can see, it's now with contents. Now it is the beautiful part of Docker. One the command Docker compose up D. What it's now doing basically, it is retrieving every small dependency it needs to one. Oh, one moment. I will skip this for you guys. Almost done now. Now it's creating stuff and it is starting stuff. So what we can do now is go to the wood, clear the screen, and we'll need this command, docker ps. As you can see, it's running now. It also displays ports. And what we can do is go to the IP address we've set for the LXC container. And hit enter. Nothing happens, that's okay. But it does say refused, so it gives us a clue. Let's say we change the port to 81. We add are at a nginx page. This is good. Again, it's not secure, but that's why we need this. So to log in, you'll need admin at example.com and the password is change me. Then make a new account. Let's call this mark, mark, just some at tutorial.youtube then we'll make a password first we'll type in the previous password change me create a new password confirm the new password and hit save as you can see we're now logged in click the dashboard and here you can make engine stuff to first make a engine url you will need some basic understanding of DNS, but to skip all those explanations, just do the following, make a Cloudflare account and use a service provider like Fimax or TransIP, just plain default service provider. Let's go to Fimax, we'll log in. We'll order a new domain. Let's use that one. And I also want that one. So go to the card and order your domain. So when you have done the payment, use the DNS setting of your provider and change that to point to Nginx. So here you will see Cloudflare, but I'm not going to do the Cloudflare thing here. We're just going to do it without. Select DNS and from there you'll select DNS change. Add a new record. This is 
different for every provider. I will do a asterisk. Use the A, and here we will point to the IP address of my home, which I'm also now on using this laptop. So to get your IP address, basically like this. Make sure it's only text, hit DNS, record, and asterisk. Make sure it's only the numbers and hit save. Here it says been in, uh, after about two to four hours it's active, but most of the time in my situation with this provider in this country, in this region, it is very fast and already viewable most of the time. So let's try in the Nginx proxy manager to make a new proxy. But to check if it's already online, you can just go to the domain you've used the stuff. Oh, one moment. We need to have the name service updated. So to check if it's already online, you can go to that domain. As you can see, it's not online yet, but I will hit refresh a couple of times. Going to smoke a cigarette, be back in a few minutes. I forgot, you also need to change the router settings. So go to your router and log into your router. When you're at the router, select the menu of the router and select network and something along the lines of now. Here you can see the ports and I see it's already enabled, so I'm sorry, wrong about me, but I will show you this is the stuff you'll need, not the VPN, but only the stuff. I will even delete the whole VPN. These are the only two ports you'll need to be forwarding. And this is an important thing. You'll need to forward it to the IP address of the LXC container. So I will show you one time. Select active if that's an option. Select HTTP Nginx or make a name. Here we can just keep it standard. 80, 80, 80, 80 the IP address of your LXC container, not your Proxmox server, like so. Here you will select both and you will select OK. I will delete that again, but what we also can do is just delete the original one I already had so you can see that it works. We'll also make one second rule one moment click add new rule call this HTTPS and change four for three four for three four for three four for three one nine two at one six eight at one that your LXC IP address both and select okay so here you have the two port things you need, your port forwardings you need. Go back. Now we can check if it works. If it doesn't work yet, 
you'll need to check why it doesn't work what you can do is go to the last Let's go to our provider. So there is something wrong. It's okay. Maybe it isn't uh, accepted to use a uh, a asterisk sometimes you'll need a web hosting also so it's now connecting those two And then we'll go to web hosting and select login from there we'll select the domain go to dns and here you will need to add a, a worker Sometimes you can use the asterisk, but not always. So let's just try that. I think this is going to work. Hit enter. Now you have a subdomain with an asterisk. As you can see, it does show up. can take a while though. You also need to make sometimes the domain inside of the engines work first.
but basically it works now. I only can't show you the results because of the DNS update time. Have a nice day.